Hey guys, we're back for some more standard action. Currently ranked 455 Mythic and had a couple changes here to the deck, um, largely in thanks to you guys. So I just want to take a moment here to thank you so much for all of your comments and feedback. Um, it really does matter and it helps the channel a huge amount. So please continue. I kind of look at this as sort of as a team effort instead of just me playing this deck. Um, I'm hoping that some of you were getting, you know, some benefit from this and maybe trying it out and having success on your own. And, you know, I know that a lot of your comments have actually helped shape this deck as you see it now. So with the current build, um, made a couple changes. I found that um, the Wandering Emperor was just so good that I just wanted a full play set. And so I upped the count all the way up to four. Um, the other thing was uh, another comment, a great comment um, one of you guys had was to add Subterranean Schooner, which is really good actually in this deck. It's kind of disgustingly good. Um, gives you great game against Mono Red, <clears throat> also against Control, um, where it doesn't get wiped out by board wipes, and then you can use something like Murex to trigger it again and getting more value and getting in. Um, yeah, it just seems really good. Also going like turn two Schooner into turn three Segovia allows you to get in. Um, and start taking like a meaningful chunk out of it. So it just feels really good all around. Um, so we went back up to the full count of uh, four Lunark Veteran. Um, after cutting them from the deck, I found out that, yeah, they are absolutely necessary to tie this deck together against Mono Red and other aggressive strategies. It's just, um, you need all four of them. <laughs> so I'm um, happy to make that change. And then now with four copies of the Wandering Emperor, we have uh, 12 cards that can give us life. Um, which is pretty helpful. Um, and yeah, I just kind of, I, I ended up shaving out uh, Malcolm, even though I think it's a very powerful card. It just doesn't really seem to fit this deck as well. You know, it's, it's like you want to attack down Invasion of Segovia, but then you don't get the card draw. And, uh, you know, having the one toughness is just kind of rough. Whereas if I can have like a 3-4 instead, um, you know, or something a little bit, me you know, meatier, um, it just feels like a better fit. So we'll have to see. The other thing I did was I did change the land a little bit, just kind of smooth it out. Um, since we're now running four copies of Restless Anchorage um, and four copies of Mirix, um, with four tap lands here, I wanted to shave down the number of desert beaches just because if you have like, you know, your opening hand with one of each, it just, you have kind of sort of a, you know, sort of a rough start. And so I shaved it down to two desert beaches and then also up the plains count um, up to four. And so now we have, I think 20 blue sources and 23 white sources um, between the 25 land here. So that, that feels pretty good, especially now that we have um, eight cards that demand double white. So all that said, um, yeah, I've just been loving this deck. Let's hop into some games. By the way, if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. It really does matter a lot, and I appreciate you. Um, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. That is what helps the channel the most. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys again for your support. It means the world to me. All right, we've got a nice little one, two, three with Veteran into Bunnicorn into Invasion. And up against White is a decent chance that Bunnicorn will survive. So you never know, but it's possible. Do this pre-combat, so in case they want to get rid of this on the defense, we can gain the life. All right, happy to go for it. And this will be nice because this will make our Bunnicorn um, a 4-4 and immediately flip this. So in case they have some kind of removal, I think I'm gonna send both at it just to be sure.
All right, so we are potentially walking into Sunfall next turn, so that is a thing. Um, Schooner is a nice play here since we can, um, you know, still get value without surrendering it to board wipe. But yeah, we'll hold back on Adeline there just for the... Since we could be facing a board wipe here. <clears throat> and this will be really nice, because if they do tap out for Sunfall here, we can go Adeline into Schooner and that'll just set us up. Okay, they didn't have it. Right, opening hand looks great. Got another one, two, three open. Oh, you know. Um, hmm. Yeah, with the anchorage, I think just to be safe, I'm going to play that first. We'll miss out on a little bit of life gain here, but I think it'll be better to have our mana working on three for sure. <clears throat> If we had four land in hand, I wouldn't necessarily do that, but. And I do like veteran, but I, I do want to get the, I think the knight out here, just a little bit more mana efficient. I don't think we want to trade. I think we want to start building our forces, so we'll just take the damage here. And I do like Adeline. Um, it does set up, you know, some good damage here. Um, <clears throat> do we want Segovia instead? I don't think so. I think we want to go Lunar plus Segovia next turn. They could deny the attack here. Yeah. So I think now if they attack with both, we just take it, and then we set up to flip Segovia next turn. <clears throat> There's just too much to gain by um, having our Adeline survive. I guess if they have Witch Dockers, it's unfortunate, but any other removal probably doesn't quite get there. Okay, Twisted Fealty is definitely big damage. <clears throat> Very happy to have the um, Lunar Veterans back in the deck, I can't even tell you. But yeah, this is just bonkers, because now we can go Virtue, and this is just going to get totally out of hand.
Like, that's an insane board. Yep. That'll do it. Uh, yeah, we got, it's a little slow, but we we can actually, we have a two, three, four, so happy to keep. It's nice we have the redundancy here. they don't have virtue okay that was nice so we could go for singer um, I kind of like Segovia instead though I mean singers fine like if they go into Liliana next turn though I'd rather have Segovia so I think I want to go Segovia instead Oh, this is great. <clears throat> so now we can go... Um, oh, we don't have the mana. Otherwise, was going to say Veteran into Bunnicorn, but we only have one white source. So we're just going to go Bunnicorn into Zephyr Singer, and that feels pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> they're just going to pack it in. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. This deck is too fun. This is just... It feels, it's, it feels like playing this game on easy mode for the most part. There certainly are some tough matchups, of course, but... You know, I'm having fun regardless. The hand looks great. <coughs> oh man, they got the schooner also. That's cool. Yeah, I think we want Schooner over Virtue right now. Because then we can block Schooner.
Now we can invasion. <clears throat> Start pushing towards that. I guess the, the problem is they can block our schooner with their schooner. Um, still the most mana efficient thing though. So I think we just do invasion and sit. Nice to have loyalty on five, but Emperor is so good. I think we want to have access to it. So now we can start pushing um, everything at the Sea Tyrant and then just sort of see what they do. They could have tricks, but I think it's worth going for. you very similar deck to us um, we could bounce there too too but I think we want to use wandering Emperor here although actually I suppose wandering Emperor they could attack it down so it's not great Could bounce a schooner also. Hmm. So this will go to four. <sighs> yeah, I guess let's see what they do. If they want to do it like that, <clears throat> I guess we can use Emperor to get the knight going. Problem is then they just attack it down with Schooner next turn, so it doesn't really accomplish much. So maybe we bounce their knight token. <sighs> yeah, because Emperor will be open and they can just attack it down next turn. But it does give us something to do the turn after. I think, yeah, because otherwise we're just like not accomplishing much here. Hmm. Maybe we just let it ride. Because I think we've got double loyalty here, so we have options. Yeah, I guess we can, I think we probably just double Virtue here. We just take the three. We could get rid of it with Emperor also, but that leaves Emperor pretty exposed.
Yeah, and I think we're just going to try to have to start racing their virtues. They're pushing damage pretty quick. And I think we want to make sure to, to activate this, so we'll crew it, but not attack. Destroyable is pretty nasty. <sighs> and they can just use it immediately. But I think we gotta force it. Can we double block and have them? So if we double block Schooner, we're taking 4, 8, 11, 14. Yeah, I think that's the play here. We do drop low, but I think we want to be keeping our guys alive if at all possible. Might be just a little bit too far behind, unfortunately. Yeah, because they've just got too many guys. I think we're just a, a turn or two behind here. Um, even if we drop Schooner plus Emperor, so we can like go up to six. Yeah, it's just not enough because they're going to get in with everybody. We can, I guess, kill one of their guys, um, block two, go to six. And yeah, I think we're still dead here, unfortunately. Let's get one more game in. And looks good. Interesting. So I think we want to go Invasion here and then start working on it. Um, they're hitting in for quite a bit of damage. Although I suppose we can also just do Invasion and then just hold back. Um, yeah, because then we're just taking a whole bunch of damage.
So I think as, as tempting as it is to start working on it, I think we want to hold back and prevent some damage here. in response. Man, this schooner is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> okay, now we can set up for a big turn. So we can go um, Bunnicorn into Singer. Let's see. Yeah, Bunnicorn into Singer. We don't have quite enough if we go Adeline. This way we can still use Schooner if they get rid of our Singer somehow. Man, this schooner is just fantastic as a defensive weapon. Man, Brutal Cathara number three. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take the two for the death touch. We'll let that go. Now these can flip Segovia, and then we'll have one, two, functionally four, seven mana. All right, so we can go Get Adeline going. And then I think we want to hold the schooner just so these um, don't like flip on our turn so we can make sure that doesn't happen. Now we can Wandering Emperor. Oh, okay, so they're just going for the triple flip here. So I guess we Wandering Emperor, and then where do we want to put the counter? Or Maybe start making two twos. Yeah, I think we start making two twos. So now we're just getting in probably with Singer. I think we want to maybe make, so they're gonna, if they can triple activate, God, that's gonna be nasty. 
We want to make another 2-2 two -two here, probably. And then I think when they triple activate, yeah, we're gonna, do we want the other schooner? We probably want second schooner over the token. So they probably take these three, I'm guessing. any benefit to yeah we can get it with schooners so we can just uh, do this in response So I think to get around these recruitment officers, we want to maybe push like Cadus up to like, a, like an X4. Um, Cadus is nice though, because he doesn't let these things untap. We do definitely want to push some damage here. Although, actually, I think maybe let's just put it on the schooner. Strike fast and strike hard. Yeah, the triple brutal cathar is super rough. If they just keep doing, like, flipping those guys, I don't know how we get through this game. Like, that's their best play to just keep flipping them.
Okay, that seems like a strange card to play. I mean, yeah, I would have just flipped if I were them. Oh, I thought it was attacking black creatures. Oh man, this is rough. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that's gotta be game, right? So we can only block five creatures. One, two, three, four, five. We're still taking. Yeah, still taking at least six damage. All right, well, that does it. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Um, I do think the deck is in a better place. I really, I do think this is a good build. Um, those are some tough beats for sure. But yeah, looking back, like I just love the curve. Um, I really think Subterranean Schooner is great in this deck and Wondering Emperor is always great, so. It makes tokens also, which helps everything and gets you life and kills creatures. And so, yeah. Anyways, have fun with this deck and let's take a look at the stats. Currently at 75% win rate, so 18 wins and six losses. Still very happy with the deck. Um, standard is pretty diverse now, so seeing a lot of different decks out there. Um, but at least now we're ready for the mono red matchup. All right. See you guys.